On Saturday, May 21st and Sunday, May 22nd, the Lake Orion Flower and Art Fair returned to downtown Lake Orion. Flint and Broadway streets were closed to traffic as approximately 100 vendors set up shop, offering art, plants, home decor, and more. Visitors also enjoyed food and music throughout the weekend. An early morning thunderstorm threatened to put a damper on things, but by Saturday afternoon, visitors enjoyed beautiful spring-like weather. When the, the monsoon came, we were all hunkered down, like very unsure of the day, but we went, had a bite to eat, and uh, before we could finish, the sun was out and the crowds were coming. We came back to our booth, we had kids waiting for crafts, we had people ready to pick up kids, and the turnout is great. The community and their support, regardless of the weather, is what keeps us going, so it's wonderful. Proceeds from the event and a beer tent help support the Orient Art Center. It was the second year the Art Center organized the Flower and Art Fair, which was previously hosted by the Lake Orion DDA. Art is very important to us. Um, actually, with COVID, the flower vendors in the area don't have as much staffing. So part of what drove the art was the fact that we didn't have as much floral as we wanted, but we were happy to secure some and also give local artists additional booth space to sell. Everyone's been inside during COVID, you know, crafting, learning new skills and trying new hobbies. And I think the craftsmanship in the area has grown and the, the volume Volumes of people and varieties we have is just absolutely amazing. Visitors were also encouraged to stop by the Art Center to enjoy the first art exhibit since 2019. Life in Bloom showcased the work of local artists in a wide variety of media with a floral theme. The submissions were judged and ribbons were awarded at a reception on May 13th. Taking first place honors was Joyce Kilpatrick with her watercolor submission called Fox Friends. The artwork will be on display through June 30th. For more information about upcoming exhibits, classes, and events, visit orionartcenter.org. In downtown Lake Orion, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ON TV News.